basically kill gods and um, they drop really good money and that's going to be moving on to part three so part three of uh, ff11 would have to be the god fights and h&ms and stuff that's one of my big parts of it i actually led my own final fantasy they call them link shells in ff11 for like a year and so um we did we were skyless like this so this is one of the mobs we fought it's a very hard mob it used to be but now it's people are so good and the equipment um Equipment's got so much better and stuff that they don't, Kieran's just uh, walk in the park. So this is just an inspiration kind of video here to give you an idea what this game is about. This is Final Fantasy XI Kieran fight from the Blue Garter, I think is how you say it. It's a link shell. And yeah, this video, I'm sorry if number Celebration number 100 video is not as exciting as you thought. It's just um, I wanted to be able to walk around and show you guys while I was playing the game and stuff. But that's not the case here because... I don't have uh, FF11 account. I can do this, and I didn't feel like paying 14 bucks to um, try to to try to get this game back working and stuff. So, yeah, this is just a little video here. I'll start playing it, and um, yeah, the night would be one that no one would forget. <laughs> so here, this is Kieran the giant mob, and this is just a little at the text is just about the um, Final Fantasy 11 link show, and this is just. Uh, basically a 3D, a 3D <laughs> rotating picture of, um, him, and these are the different races, so this is kind of good, there's, these are, this, if, if it's really going to go through everyone in the Link Shell, um, anyways, this is just going to give you a little idea of what different race, this is a paladin, he takes the damage, warrior on the left, this would be a black mage, and then this would be, um, a ninja, and this would be, yeah, I can't, I can't name them that fast, but anyways, this is going through the different characters who are here to fight and it's saying that the fight was actually two to three hours long actually when they first started some battles were about four and a half hours long and it was just non-stop someone had basically and what the funny thing with kieran is you have to run around and someone has to kite him so some guy basically just runs in circles on his screen for about four hours but um <laughs> so yeah hopefully this is getting you a little pumped up about, about, about this game i definitely recommend it actually I really don't recommend it because it's so addicting and it'll take away from your StarCraft time. So don't play this game. But, um, yeah. He, Kieran, um, there's five gods, including Kieran, and, um, you have to kill every god to be able to fight. To, you have to get seals of every god, and to get a seal of a god, you have to fight each god. And then that'll allow you to, um, using those seals, you actually can pop, is what they call it. Pop Kieran. So, yeah. And Kieran actually summons all the gods, and they're in easier form, but they still take a while to kill and stuff. So, this is just a little inspiration video here, just to get you guys a little pumped up about this. And I know this is probably not what you're planning for video 100, but I so I do apologize for that, I guess you could say. And yeah, past this, I'm just going to talk while this Kieran fight is going on. Um, past this, FF11 is made up of so many things. There's C, which is like above sky, and a lot of, there's um, just a lot of new things coming out, and there's just so many things you can do, And it, but the game doesn't end. So for you StarCraft fellows who love just to get the GG across the screen and line up for game two, that's not the case in here. This game never ends. It's just basically you come become the best you possibly can to... Um, Impress your wife, I don't know, just to, um, it's really fun though, somehow, a never-ending game is fun, but, um, anyways, okay, I'm just gonna t keep talking while this video is going on, this is just to sum up Final Fantasy XI, and there's a lot more to go in, I basically made the worst trailer for Final Fantasy XI you possibly could, but, um, yeah, and if this video does extend to, um, video 101, then we can celebrate the 101 Dalmatians or something, but, um, either way it's in celebration for my hundredth video okay while this fight goes on i'm just gonna talk a little bit about myself again i guess all right um i'll just go through like a list of random questions you'd ask someone and answer them so you guys get a chance to know me a little better here my favorite sport i used to play basketball lacrosse and now i've moved on to tennis though and um all sports are uh, I enjoy them about the same lacrosse, a very intense sport. For those people who think it's stupid or whatever, then I definitely want you to try it and stuff. Very intense. Um, yeah, you have to be tough to play the sport, basically. 
and that's why I don't play it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't play it because I want to play tennis. Basketball, obviously. Um, favorite basketball team would have to be for college, Duke, and for the pros. I Let's think. I like a couple teams, but I still like the Chicago Bulls, even though Michael Jordan's not there. All right, favorite um, game other than StarCraft? Definitely Final Fantasy XI, just because I played it for so long, and it's really enjoyable to play with your friends and stuff. And you get to know some awesome people online because you always talk to them. It's not like on StarCraft where you where chatting's not really a part of playing, and Final Fantasy chatting is a part of the playing. All right, so let's see here. Favorite food? I love croutons, even though that's not really... I don't sit down to like a bowl of croutons for dinner or something. But um, croutons, and I like pizza, I guess you could say. I'm just going to leave this video running here because I don't really have anything else to show in the screensaver. So that's why there's just random games popping up. And the color might be freaking out or whatever. But anyways, I'm going to continue with the questions. Favorite drink? I'm uh, definitely a Coke fan. Coke over Pepsi. Coke... Um is the number one drink. I actually like Vault too, but Coke's uh, my favorite. Okay, best part about commentating would probably have to be just uh, I get a chance to watch the pro scene, and my desktop just came up. Oh, my gosh, that's embarrassing. My screensaver just came up atop that, so sorry about that. But um, <laughs> that's professional. Anyways, yeah, favorite part about commentating, just I get to watch all the games, and I get a express my love for the game to the people who watch so it's a win-win situation for me and hopefully you guys enjoy my commentaries okay favorite football team love the new york giants and i know everyone's gonna be oh you just like them because they won but um I, i'm a big eli manning fan okay even though not everyone likes him <laughs> all right uh role model i uh definitely my parents and family and stuff but aside from that I'm just just kind of everyone like all my friends and stuff the people that make me who I am I guess you could say and a couple more questions I guess here um anything you guys want to ask me I'll just answer those if you want to ask me a question about myself you can pm me or just post on a comment and I'll get back to you but other than that, before I wrap up this 100th video celebration, I just want to say thank you to everyone. And um, especially thank you to sc2gg.com. If you don't know them, check them out. A great StarCraft site, great community. Special thanks to everyone who was involved in getting me on the front page and everyone I've met on sc2gg, just um, who I became friends with and everyone that <laughs> I spent a lot of time on. IRC so everyone who talks to me on IRC I guess you could say and then I'd like to thank uh, YouTube obviously and Audacity my recording system but uh, most importantly probably my family for listening to me basically screaming at the computer screen a lot of the time I get very loud in my commentaries because I like to show excitement and I'm very excited but um that being said I don't know too much else to say here that's going to wrap it up. Look forward to me doing commentaries in the future. I don't plan on stopping commentaries anytime soon. I really want to um, pick up my commentaries and hopefully do something with co StarCraft commentating in the future because I love it. And that being said, I think I'm going to wrap things up here. If you have questions or concerns or anything or criticism about my commentaries or whatever, just message me on SC2GG or on YouTube or CMAN IRC. And all right, so thank you guys very much for watching this. Hopefully this was the most exciting 100th video celebration you could ask for. Uh, it wasn't perfect, and I was actually planning on using my easy cam to record me and stuff and do some stuff around my house kind of. But um, my easy cam decided to not work, so I had to do it this way. But anyways... This has been fun, guys. Hopefully, you got to know me a little better. And I hope to hope you guys watch my commentaries in the future. Many more to come. I hope to get 200 a lot faster than I got 100. So, thanks, guys. And this is Sunday signing out. Thanks. Bye.